to the food and the caterers, please. Great food. I want to uh, welcome onto the stage one of our celebrity guests for tonight. She's an amazing woman, model, and TV presenter. She was in I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of There, and a Celebrity Big Brother. She's also a woman of amazing strength, having gone through trials and tribulations and come out the other end of it, and then helped people who've been in the same situation as her. Ladies and gentlemen, please, a round of applause for the beautiful Sophie Anderson, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. It's amazing. And also, as well, it was Sophie's birthday yesterday. Oh, no. Round of applause, it was her birthday yesterday, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Okay, now let us move on with the awards. Now, I just want to say, uh, if you are here with your partner and you come up onto the stage to collect your award, no touching. Okay, just no touching. Okay, just keep it. No, we, don't worry, we spoke to your lawyers. They're more, uh, there's a five foot exclusion zone around you. She will hold out the award like this and you will pick it up and run away. Okay, now, for the next award, it is Best Alco Pop brand of the year, as voted for by Elbrook retailers. And the nominees are Smother Vice! Wow. Why, why are you so embarrassed about Smother Vice? WKD, ladies and gentlemen. Breezer. And Caribbean Twist. Wow. Wow. Okay. And the winner is uh, Caribbean Twist is voted the best alcohol pop ready to drink brand by the Elbrook retailers. Pina Colada and Strawberry Daiquiri are the fastest selling flavors, providing retailers to make a good margin of 35 to 50%. Yes, they are ladies. And we got quite excited by that. <laughs> Clearly not been out recently. Caribbean Twists are good looking labels and look good in the fridge and on the shelves, ladies and gentlemen. Good, thank you very much. Well done, well done indeed. That won the award because it was the Alco Pop least likely to get your teenage daughter pregnant at a bus stop. So, please tell me when I'm overstepping the mark. <laughs> uh, best tobacco brand of the year, as voted for by Elbrook retailers, is our next award, ladies and gentlemen. And the nominees are Benson and Hedges Silver, Paul. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Benson and Hedges Silver. No, is that the wrong one? No, What? Why is that the wrong one? Well, because it doesn't exist anymore. Because you made it up. What? Why is it the wrong one? Why am I being heckled by someone over cigarettes? Who cares? It's still, we've got both. What? What? Is, all right. What colour is it then? What? Oh, okay. It's not a price battle. Typical Asian, tight as you like. Always trying to get a deal. Next up after the silver is uh, Pall Mall Blue. There you go. Is that okay? Is that okay? Okay, good, good. Uh, number three, uh, Rothmans. Number four, Marlborough Gold. And my own favourite, Afghan Green. Okay, now, the winner is. is the best tobacco brand of the year as voted for by Elbow retailers. With the extra support that the retailers get through the BDMs and call to the retailers, these retailers are pocketing 15 to 20 percent margin, ladies and gentlemen. Rothman's value range is the best liked by the retailers and their customers.
there you go, a round of applause for um, them. There are no speeches. There are no speeches. The award in itself. Okay, next up. Thank you, sir. Is the. Uh, what? Just being you. <laughs> Thank you for being you. I sound like Deepak Chopra. Right. Deep Depot Manager of the Year. And the winner for that, Mr. Omar Bhatti. Omar Bhatti, where are you, my friend? Yes! I love this guy. Yes! That is the best depot manager in the world. Throughout the year, Omar has been a very reliable employee of Elbrook Cash and Carry. He's been a vital contributor to the smooth running of the shop floor at Elbrook. Customer service has been exceptional, providing customers with a great shopping experience while making sure the staff needs are met. Fantastic. Brilliant. Well done. Round of applause, please. Mr. Elmo Bucky there. What do? These are the unsung heroes, guys, that make Elbrook what it is. Trust me on that. Well, right. now, time for the best ethnic soft drinks brand of the year. Now this is a soft drink brand that white people are not allowed to drink. I believe. It's only, only for brownies. The best ethnic soft drink brands of the year. Now, the winner of this is... The Rubicon Meats UK. Who's going to come up? Central Award. Best Ethnic soft drinks of the year. Varieties of food fruit juices are very popular in London and amongst Elbrook retailers. Retailers are making a profit minimum 25% on all Rubicon and KA treats. Rubicon mango and KA fruit punch is the highest selling. I was only joking by the way, white people can drink their brands. It's absolutely allowed. Yeah, I, I wanted to make that clear. Some people, I work on the Asian network. Some people go, can I listen to that? And you're like, yeah, of course you can. Yeah. Okay. Next up, best brand innovative retailer of the year. And the nominees are Sheftel Patel from Wine Leaf Off License. Yes, Wine Leaf Off License. There you go. I'm reading that like Ron Burgundy. Marco Napolitano, North and South Wine. Vipul Patel, World of Wine. And Kamaljeet Singh from Reeves Corner. And the winner is... Congratulations, Mr. Vipul Patel! Where are you, sir? Here he comes. Come on, Bipple. Yes, trapping Bollywood star of a man you. Bring it on. World of Wines is one of the specialist off licenses, offering over 200 different whiskies, 150 different ales, 90 different vodkas, 35 different rums, 25 different gins, and 120 different liquors. The shop, 950 square feet, is run by three family members, and Mr. Vibble Patel, as you see, is the best innovative retailer of the year. Okay, next up, best cider brand of the year, is voted for by Elbrook retailers. The nominees are Bulmers. Anyone for Bulmers? Yes. 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 Apples. Yes. Strongbow! Yeah. Good. Stella Cidre. Yeah. Yes! And Magnus, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Oh. oh my. Is that just you, Frank? <laughs> okay, good. Representing the Magnus. Nice. And the winner is. Yeah. Welcome to the stage. Look at that! The Anton Deck of fermented apples, ladies and gentlemen. How sharp are you? Look at you two! 
That really does now look like an episode of Footballers Wives. It really does. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, that's it for that section, ladies and gentlemen. We have done now another six awards. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please, can you make a uh, whole lot of noise for the lovely Sophie Anderton, please, whose birthday was yesterday. A big cheer, please. Thank you very much. Now it's time for some amazing entertainment. Just relax for a second. And um, wow, you're going to need, has everyone got camera phones? Yeah? Everyone got camera phones in this video? You're going to want to take photos of what you're about to see. Trust me on that. So ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with you in a little while. Hi guys, my name's Casey Batchelor and I'm here at Czech 89 this evening with some amazing people. The food is incredible and thanks for having me. I'll definitely be coming back again. It's been a memorable experience. Special guest Sophie's still in the building, ladies and gentlemen. 
Stand up, Sophie, please, come on. No, come on. Sophie's still in the building. Hello, Sophie. That's amazing. I think that I think that's really nice. I'm not up to anything, trust me. I think it's really nice. Sometimes celebrities, they come and they do their bit and then they go, but Sophie's hanging out, it's so nice. We hang out. So cool. Now, next up, we have another celebrity surprise for you. The amazing, the beautiful, from Celebrity Big Brother, ladies and gentlemen, Casey Bachelors in the place. Yes. Amazing. Now stand there, and we're going to get on with this. Starting with the best confectionery brand of the year as voted for by Elbrook retailers. Now the nominees are Kit Kat. Do we have anyone likes Kit Kat? Yes? Yes? Brilliant. Anyone? Okay. Dairy Milk Oreo, is that right? Dairy Milk Oreo, yeah? Yeah? You like that? Yeah? You don't eat anything. You have like three lettuce leaves and water. That's what you guys do. Don't lie. Snickers, anyone like Snickers? Anyone old enough to remember it known as Marathon? Yes! Thank you. Okay. And the winner is... Oreo in the place. Yes. Your favourite. Dairy Milk Oreo has been voted the best confectionery brand of the year. Retailers are making good profit margins apparently. Did you know that? Yeah, very good. And the product tends to sell by itself. Due to you. Yes. Who's been known to shoplift them a few times uh, in Wolfram Abbey. Congratulations. Best on trade outlet of the year. The nominees are Devshi Sisodia from the Greyhound Bar. Yes, come on. Derek McNee, Bar 127, ladies and gentlemen. Hussein Heretin from Loco Mexicano. Yes, sir. And E. Daniels from Porky's Wine Bar. And the winner is... Hussein is the winner. Where's Hussein? Oh man, Mr. Hussein's restaurant not only serves the finest foods in Victoria, which is a place not a person, but the best cocktails and mocktails too. The clients are mainly city workers, and are run by 15 members of staff. Ladies and gentlemen, Hussein from Loco Mexicano. Okay, happy days. Right, best wine brand of the year, as voted by, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like a bit of wine. As voted for by Elbrook retailers. Ladies and gentlemen, the nominees are, number one, Barefoot? Yeah, 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 is that good? Yeah, 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 yeah. Number two, Echo Falls. Silence from this side. No wine drinkers on this side of the room. One, clearly a wine drinker. Clearly a wine drinker. Wow, okay, cool. Night out for you, night off for your family, I'm thinking by that man, all right. Okay. Next up, Casilero, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that's more like it. Wow, wow, really? Okay. Nice one. And lastly, Lindemann's bin, is that right? Who puts the word bin at the end of every product that they're trying to sell? Who does that? And the winner is... voted the best wine brand of the year with one of the best looking labels the brand sells itself apparently the retailers make a very good profit on this as well the margin of 35 percent and uh, it says it's for all age categories here 
which clearly it isn't because it's alcohol. The varieties that Casalero offers look very appealing and attractive in the shelves. Thank you very much, Casalero gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Now, do we have any beer drinkers in here? That's what I'm talking about. So, best beer brand of the year as voted for by Elbrook retailers. And the nominees are Heineken, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. I remember you guys. I remember you guys. Carlsberg. Ooh. Carlsberg, make, make, you need to make more noise than that because Heineken did it. Wait a minute, let's compare. Heineken. Carlsberg. Still a bit. Still a bit of lame. You, 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 you sir, with the glasses. You, yeah, you sir. The, the Asian fella behind you. You need to get him. So he made no. Yeah, you made no noise, sir. You made no noise. Look, I'm going to try you on your own now. Carlsberg. Yeah. No, that's better. Thank you very much indeed. Next up, Fosters, ladies and gentlemen. Easy drink that is. I Stella. Drink it, head by it, put it in the car park, have a fight with it, take it on, have another row with it, head by it, Stella. <laughs> is uh, is their new advertising campaign, ladies and gentlemen. And the winner is He's now going to urinate in both of these bottles. <laughs> Carlsberg has been voted the best beer brand of the year by Elbrook retailers in terms of margin. Retailers are making the best profit margin on Carlsberg. You need to think about that, Heineken. More than any other beer brands. Okay, best retailer outlet of the year. And the nominees are... Mr. Battle from B&B Stores. B&B Stores. Eugene James from Pearly Food and Wines. Ali Akbar, the corner shop. Very good name. And B. Muralitharan from BM Convenience. B. Muralitharan, this is why they hire me. Because I can say long surnames like that. And the winner is... Eugene James from Pearly Foods and Wine. Is Eugene in the building? Yes. Is Eugene your name? Yeah. I did just check him. Look a bit more like a Sanjay to me, wouldn't I mean? Congratulations to Eugene. And Pearly, Pearly's where my brother lives, so we'll come in and shoplift uh, for you uh, soon. We'll get Casey to cause a diversion, and then we'll go and do it. Okay. That won't be hard, trust me, won't be hard. Pearly Wines is one of the best retail outlets in London, ladies and gentlemen. And Mr. James is a pioneer and connoisseur of malt whiskies, and does not hesitate to try any premium brands. Eugene, ladies and gentlemen! Love that. Pearly Wines offers over 600 whiskies. Now, time for the Lifetime Achievement Award. And the winner, and I really need you to make a lot of noise for this particular individual, is Mr. Shaggy Khan, ladies and gentlemen. Started in September the 12th. 1994 as a warehouse assistant, always happy at work. Everyone knows him by his name, which is good. Huge Liverpool fan. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Actually, wait a minute. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're a huge Liverpool fan. Okay, then what we should do then is kind of let you think you're winning the award and then take it away from the last two games of the season. 20 years. Well done. Shahid Khan, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, man. Big look. Now, the last award of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Best 
brand outright of the year in all categories. Now, can we have a little bit of quiet, ladies and gentlemen, for this award? It's a big one, it's the last one of the night. The winner is Stella Artois, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Stella, 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 Stella. Yay! Fellas, you need to come up here and take photos of your boy. Look, this is the closest he's ever going to get to a beautiful woman. Seems to be the posterity. Second closest. Oh, okay. I'm not a woman yet. I'm having the final operation next week. Oh, top man. So concludes the awards for tonight. Have you had a good time? Yes. Sorry about not winning the beer thing, guys. But you do kind of represent just about every alcoholic beverage in the world. Well, there is. If you sample all your wares, there is. Clearly, you, sir, have sampled all the wares this evening. All right, I hope you've had a good time. Uh, we're going to serve dessert now. Uh, are you all ready for that? Anyone with diabetes probably need to uh, swap this bit and just kind of have some lettuce like you have all the time. Yeah, have some, have some Stella. Stella! Yes, my name is Nihal. I talk for money. That's what I do. But when I want to eat, I come to Chuck 89. Even though it's far away from where I live, I come here, I eat, I go home, and I go to sleep. Because when you come to Chuck 89, it's a memorable experience, but it is also a tiring one, because I eat more than my body weight. Yet again, my eyes are bigger than my stomach. That was my boyfriend. <laughs>